Hi, and welcome back to Break 100 Golf. I'm John. You're gonna to love today's video because I'm gonna demonstrate all of the SkyTrack 5.0 software version driving ranges. So before I get started, if you're not subscribed to the channel, please consider subscribing to the channel right now. It'll really allow my channel to grow and allow me to continue to bring videos just like this to YouTube. So what prompted me to do this video is I've been practicing with the SkyTrack. I've had the device for three or four weeks and I'm really liking it and it has really helped my ball striking for the first time in a very long time because I've been practicing shot shaping, which I've never done before. There are several utilities or basically driving ranges, which I'm gonna show you, that have really helped me to gain a few yards of distance with my iron and also have better, more consistent contact just by accident practicing with this shot shaping, I've kind of picked up some ideas with my swing and just made it a little bit easier on myself. So let's take a look at what that looks like. So this is what the console looks like for the SkyTrack ranges. So you have the traditional SkyTrack range, the wall, right to left command range, left to right command range, Accuracy Island, and also the city range. So let's go back out of that menu. So the first one I'm gonna demonstrate for you is just the regular SkyTrack range, and they've made some improvements. Uh, looks like they've kind of deepened the color. I don't know a lot about how they changed it from the last time. It doesn't look exchanged very much other than graphically. The colors just look like it's a little bit deeper. But other than that, the functionality is pretty much the same. But all the other ones are new. So what I've done here is I've demoed a nine iron, seven iron, a three hybrid and my driver. And this video is about five minutes long of all the shots. Um, I put some text up on the screen so that it'll change when you see the nine iron, seven iron, three hybrid and the driver. So here's those shots on the regular driving range. And then after that, we're gonna do the wall. Well, there's my patented baby fade. But 185 yards, I'll take it. Did not get a hold of that. That was not good. But, I mean, it was an accurate depiction of what my swing was at contact. Oh yeah. Almost 240 yards on a three hybrid. It's about as good as I can do. Let me see if I can get one more out there. That's acceptable, 217 yards. All right, let's switch to driver. That 
That one should be good. Two seventy one, one hundred and six mile an hour on the swing speed. Club path was much better, three point seven degrees. Face to path, 0 0.6 degrees left. Not much side spin, and that's really what I'm looking for. Two hundred fifty yards, one hundred one miles an hour on the club speed. Club path was not good. I feel like that was struck really well, but we'll see. Two hundred forty-six yards. Face to path was better. Well, that's going left. Two hundred and sixty two yards left. All right, that's it. Okay, the next one I'm gonna demo for you is the wall. And when I first saw this, a lot of people I saw on some forums and some online discussions, they were really confused about the point of this. And really the point of it is for you to be able to shape shots from right to left. However way you do that, if you hit a draw or however way you're gonna do that, obviously is to try to practice a draw. Now I never practiced shot shaping before, never really tried to. A lot of my shots I just naturally have, um, sometimes a slice, but I just naturally have a fade. And I tried to practice to shallow my clubs more. Uh, I took a lot of golf lessons from PGA Pros last year to help improve my right to left swing and make it more left to right. So I dropped it down significantly. I cut about half of those degrees off and made it an acceptable level. I'm very happy with it the way it is. So here's the wall. Not the first one. <laughs> there it is. Okay, the next one I'm gonna demo for you is the right to left command range. And the whole purpose of that is the same as the wall, just to hit it around that tree. And once you've done that, to try to get it onto the fairway without it going into the water or not going into the trees on the right. It is not as easy as you may think because that tree is very close. So I practiced this with a six iron here is a view of the range and my shots with the six iron.
There's a the draw. I don't care if it went in the water. Another draw. That was pretty good. Okay, the next one I'll demo here for you is the left to right command range. And the whole point of that is to be able to hit a fade is exactly the same as the right to left, except the water is on the right. You're gonna hit it to the left of that tree. And this one I demoed with a five hybrid and basically tried to shot shape that around the tree or fade it around that tree. Again, it is not as easy as you may think because that tree is pretty close, but if you're good at shot shaping, you'll probably be good at this right away. I never really practice it. So this was really fun for me to do it. Uh, it took me a lot of shots on both of these to try to figure out a way to make that work all the time, but it's improving my game by doing that. So I'm really loving the SkyTrack and the practice ranges, especially these shot shaping options. Here's a demo of that range. Is that there? <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> that was good. That looks good, right there? That was good right there. Okay, the next driving range is Accuracy Island. And the whole point of this is, it's just a 30 yard wide strip in the middle of water, completely surrounded by it. And the idea is, I think more than anything, you should try to hit long clubs down this. You can start with a small warm up, but I think hitting a long club down this, especially like a hybrid or a driver or longer clubs like five, six, four, three iron or whatnot, I think will be a very helpful tool to help keep you accurate. And I did have a lot of fun with this as well. I did hit a five hybrid on this one. Here's what it looks like and a demo for you. Nope. <laughs> that was pretty good. <laughs> pretty decent there.
Nope. <laughs> Stay on there. Nice. All right. It's probably about as good as I could hit that club. All right, city range. Okay, the next range is the city range. Essentially, this is just Times Square in New York City. I really like this because it mixes things up a little bit, gets you off of a traditional driving range and gives you a nice view while you're heading into it. It really looks cool, especially following your shot. This is a fixed 155 yard range. So most people are gonna hit a nine iron or an eight iron. I probably should have hit a nine iron on this. I demoed it with an eight and I had to dial it back, but it was great for me to practice. So you can see where on this one, this is an unedited clip of me hitting five shots in a row and how I hit them and then adjusted it until the last shot to where I dialed it in almost perfectly on the last shot. Here's a demo using a eight iron. Yeesh, that was an eight iron. I gotta slow that down. That should be better. All right, I gotta really slow my swing down. That should be all over it. Well, that's gonna be about it for today. I surely do hope you enjoyed today's content. If you did, hit that like button and share it with any of your friends that may be interested in SkyTrack or just golf sim in general, because that's really what my channel is all about. If you're not subscribed to the channel, please subscribe right now. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.